welcome to my study in brown. Here are all the ink, the pens that I inked with brown inks. And it all started with this vintage Cabego Dia, which I filled up with Birmingham Pen Company, Whiskey Rebellion Bourbon, and loved it so very much. And then I was curious to see how do other brown inks compare how do I like them? What do I have? I'm such a colorful person. I tend to go for the colors and I, for the bright colors. And in this case, I, yeah, brown. I thought I was curious. What's going to, what, what do I have? What is there? How do they write? Do they write as well? And do they excite me as much? So, yeah. This was a fun one, and I have been enjoying it ever since. If you are a vintage pen lover and you know what this reads, please tell me. It doesn't focus. Nope. Okay, let's get going. I've had some of these Cavecos uh, for in a, a crazy long time, maybe since I was in my 20s. And they're dear to me because some of them came from my father. I've collected them at German flea markets. Really enjoy using them too. And I will have to look at what these are a lot, forgive me. <laughs> I thought so. I don't want to say anything wrong, but um, yeah, so I'd rather check. This is Papier Plume in New Orleans. And the color is caramel. I love their inks. And moss green is my favorite green. I should do when I'm done with these. should do a study in green because I think I have the most... That's what I have the most of, green eggs. This is a vintage Parker dual fold. I, it has this cool, I will not push it. <laughs> you hold it into the ink bottle and then you push this a couple of times and it fills. It has a very cool nib, which I, I thought it was a broad nib, but I think it's actually a stub. Not quite sure, but yeah. Well, this guy hadn't used it in a long time, filled it up recently. It needs love. Come on. I will not comment much on the differences between these unless something brutally strikes me that I'm going to share with you but this was oh yes Robert Oster This was a Robert Oster Antelope Canyon. If you've been here for a while, you may remember that I traveled to Antelope Canyon and I was so excited that there's an ink that matches the beautiful geological formations there. So cool. Now here comes my favorite brown. I'll just call it that. 
in one of my favorite vintage pens. Is it an Elite or is it a Dia? I think I messed that up, I thought so, yeah. Birmingham Pen Company. Look at the shading of this. I mean, how can you not love this? Oh my God, yeah. Whiskey Rebellion Bourbon. Beautiful, large, generous nib. Is it gold? I do not know. Is it important? Sometimes, in this case, no, because it writes amazingly. Quite a hefty, I think it's my heftiest vintage Cavigo pen. Yes. I did this monstrosity to this pen a long time ago. <laughs> and it makes me laugh. And I just leave it this way. It doesn't matter. And this was for a very long time one of my favorite writers um, in the lineup of vintage pens. It's an old German Geha piston filler. And the cap was just really crumbling. And so I thought, i got to do something. And it's not pretty, but it works. And it has a name engraved, which I usually love. Probably a broad nib. Vintage Giha. I'm going to call it by the name of the person that used to own it. And the ink is, oh, yes, that is Birmingham Pen Company. I think it is Carson Street Amber Ale. So what do you think? Definitely whiskey over beer, right? I don't drink, but I find this very funny. Next is this little pelican, which Spits out a bit of glittery ink, which I just could not get out, cleaned out completely after its last filling with a shimmer ink. I think it's an M200 and it's the golden barrel. And a B-nib. And this ink is, oh yes. <laughs> Birmingham Pen Company. Fox Squirrel. And this was a sample from Casey. Thank you, Casey. But now I wonder, did I get some more from, from you, Brenda? Not sure if I'm getting that mixed up now. Could be. No, it was Copperhead. Birmingham Pen Company Copperhead that I got from both of you. I love ink swaps. If you want to swap inks with me, let me know. Another Giha, and in case you wonder, this guy's a little bit larger, and I have tried to fix this, no chance. 
So I'm using it with the crack here. Nothing leaks all good. It's Jürgen's Giha. These are great writers. And with a very bouncy nib. Love that. Jürgen. I wanted to write that here. And this is, I do not remember any of these colors, <laughs> except for Whiskey Rebellion, my favorite. So this is Jacques Urbain, Lit de Thé. Which was a sample from my swap partner, Peter. Thank you, Peter. You've seen this pen before. You can, you probably know I love it. Faber Castel Castel, uh, Faber Castel Castel 10. And I hope it's not empty, but it also has a broad nib and it's also one of my all time favorite writers. Used to use it for pens all the time, uh, for letters, sorry. It's probably from the late 80s, early, uh, late 70s, early 80s, I would say. I'm going to call it a vintage anyways. Faber, Castel, Castel 10, probably a broad nib, don't know because it's hooded partially. And this is I think I got this from you also, Casey. Tachi Tachiatsuchi Golden Wheat. Now I'm uncertain. Let's check. Apologies if this is not from you, Casey, or who it's from, or I misspoke to who that's from. I'm just going to leave it with a question mark. But I think it was from you, Casey. Next one is Sing Pen with a black body. I think this is a broad oblique nib. And this amazing ink color, yeah, which I also love a lot, is ah, yes. This one was a sample for Casey from Casey for sure. Mont Blanc. And it's called James Purdy and Soons. Single malt, is that it? Am I saying it right? Yes. Those long names. I'm always worried about forgetting part of the ink name. Sample Casey. Thank you, Casey. There you go, another great whiskey color. Beautiful shading. Gorgeous. 
Angels Inc. And next is another Faber Castell, but a modern one, the Ondoro, which didn't want to write, but now it does. This guy, I love writing with it, but it does dry up from sometimes. It happens. That's a broad nib, and the ink is an ink that I love also. <laughs> Robert Oster Cafe Creme. Of course, I also love it because I love coffee. An online pen. I think it's called Online Bamboo, which was a gift from a friend in Germany. And you can, it's kind of cool because you can swap out the nibs. The, the whole section here with the nib came with a total of three nibs. This one is a broad oblique, which of course, as you know, I love. And it also came with a brown ink, which I think this is probably put the same ink in there. Online bamboo. Um, no, she could sing ever. What? Sorry, my daughter is leaving just for the day, just for New Year's, so she wanted to say goodbye. So this is the pen, online bamboo, what is it? This is indeed the online brown. The ink is online brown. It's a beautiful brown really impressed me with the shading and all. Yeah. So what comes here? Oh, I should show you the nib. This is a music nib. And in case you haven't figured it out, I love broad nibs. I write with everything, but sometimes a nib like this just makes my heart sing. This is the Platinum 3776. In the Chartres. Color with a music nib. And the ink, this gorgeous shader is, oh yes, this is a good one. Because when I started this brown thing, I, th I remembered, oh, I have this Schaefer ink, Schaefer brown, and which I've had for a very long time. But to be honest, I bought that ink in Germany and I know I did not. There were not that many ink colors. And I wonder if I back then mixed it with something else. If I added something because I got bored with it. Looks very brown. Looks like a normal brown, brown, right? Not sure. I just really don't know. I may have, but then again, who knows? Maybe I did and maybe I didn't. I mean, to change a brown, that's pretty hard. I may have added a gush of green. Who knows? Here comes my Conklin All-American with a broad nib as an orange demonstrator. And this guy 
gives me trouble at times when it does not want to write. Ink flow issues. And now I'm trying it with this ink and I hope it works better. Conklin, all American. I don't write the full name. I just write that it's a broad nib. And this is Diamine Ancient Copper, which I had not used in way too long. I mean, just look at it, right? Do you love it or do you love it? Oh, we're getting a bit of sun here. That's great. I hope you were not out of frame. I will rearrange. No, I won't rearrange. I'm just going to scoot. <sighs> what can I say? I know. I know. It's a beauty. I love it. This pen has been abused by me. Yes, I admit it. I said it out loud. I think I didn't clean it. And so I was like, this pen isn't writing well. I don't know. It's such an expensive pen. Blah, blah, blah. So many people love it. And it's a very much sought after pen. For obvious reasons. And it, I always had ink flow issues. I mean, look at this nib. Is it gorgeous or is it go gorgeous, right? Oh my goodness. I can't remember what it is. Broad? Looks pretty broad to me. Well, <laughs> look at it. Oh my gosh ink in this pen a match made in heaven almost extra it has a very long name so i'm just gonna call it bronze forgive me almost extra arcos paragon bronze my daughter is leaving she's so cute she's distracting me on purpose right now she's twerking for me believe it or not <laughs> you don't know what you're missing okay i'm just gonna say that this is abroad well you're gonna wonder well how did she fix this problem um pen flush pen flush pen flush and now from now on this is actually the very first time that i filled this pen and that it's not giving me trouble when i'm using it and that it's just the ink is flowing beautifully. Let me just rearrange the pens a little bit. I need to see what the ink is, which I should remember because I love it and I love it. Love the ink color, love it in this pen, of course, as you can tell, most likely. Color verse red rock it's a reference to this beautiful area in arizona that we're we're actually we've visited there it's just by sedona love it yep and this is this pen love 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 i'm so happy that it writes again and here we have a Pinicon, I think it's a 400, not an M400, yes. I could keep on gushing over that Oma's pen, but I won't. You can gush over it and leave me a comment and tell me how much you love it too. I know that Sarah loves it very much. Sarah of Fountain Pen Insanity, who should make another video, please? Okay. <laughs>
Ay, ay, ay. This is another broad oblique OB pen. And the ink is I do not know. Forgive me. Oh, goodness. I should know this. I own a whole bottle. It's Ramona's fault. It is Pilot Hiroshizuku Inaho. Hiroshizuku Inaho. Yeah, Ramona and I, we both love this dirty diaper color. <laughs> and the pen, yep. It is gorgeous. Next is my fake Mont Blanc. And I love writing with this guy. But I think, was this the one that wasn't supposed to be with the browns? I think so. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is in here? I don't know. I don't know. This got into this box by accident, but I'm still going to write with it. Fake Mont Blanc. It shouldn't have been in this box. This is Diamond Earl Grey. I think this was a sample from Peter, yes. And I emptied this little sample while. Sorry about this. Messed up my study in brown. And then I have this guy, which is called an Ashford, but Ashford is apparently... It's apparently made by Visconti. Also ink flow problems at times. So I've messed with it a bit. Let's see if it writes now. I haven't touched it in a few days. So far so good and definitely a brown. I'm just gonna call it an Ashford. I'm gonna say it's an M. And where are you? Oh, yes. This was a beautiful sample from Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. Winter. Ochre. Fortalesa, 1797. Beautiful brown. So Brenda, in case you wonder, Brenda has the channel, The Dormouse's Desk. And if you have not watched her Diamine Ink Vent videos, they can go and catch up because that was just beautiful. The way um, she did art every single day. Okay, we have come to the end of this study in brown including for good measure the diamine earl gray which i'm going to remove from this box right away so okay i'm gonna hold this in here 
for you so you can see the close up. What do you think? I'm very curious to see what your take is on browns. Do you love browns? Do you have a favorite brown and otherwise you're like, meh? Does this want to make you, does this want to make you, um, d does this make you go, what am I even saying? Gosh, my English, my language, I've been. Does this make you want to go look for all of your brown inks and see what you have and compare them? Or do you say, ha, I'm, I'd rather do a green comparison. Let me know. And um, thank you for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed making it. And I will see you next time. Bye.